Students, in today's class we will learn about one of the unique regions on planet earth, the polar regions. Students, if you remember in the last class we have seen how the polar regions have a unique feature of continuous sunlight followed by continued darkness for many months. The sunrise and sunset do not happen as it happens in the rest of the places. The polar region is characterized by very cold weather along with ice and snow on the rivers, streams, land surfaces and even the seas. Now, let us see where exactly the polar region is located in the world. The polar region is the area that is close to both the poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. The boundary of the polar region is known as the Arctic Circle. The tundra, which means cold, is the northern part of the continents within the polar region. This region receives very little sunlight and this results in a unique type of vegetation known as tundra vegetation. Can you guess what kind of seasons you can find in the tundra? As we know, the climate is extremely cold in the tundra region. The way the sun rises and sets in India is not the same in this region. The months of November till January, which is the season of winter in the tundra region, experiences darkness in this region as there is no sunrise. The temperatures are extremely low during the winters. With such low temperatures, the rivers, lakes, seas freeze while there are strong cold winds and snowfall. The entire region is dark and deserted and is unsuitable for life. This kind of climate is unsuitable for vegetation and hence no plants grow. The animals and birds migrate during the winters to other places as they cannot survive in such extreme weather conditions. Once the winter comes to an end, the sunrise begins in the tundra region around February or March. The tundra region experiences sunshine for a maximum of an hour or so and then sets in the beginning of the summers. Eventually, the sunshine increases to 2 hours, 6 hours and 8 hours and extends up to 24 hours. The months from May to July experiences continuous sunshine for 24 hours with the sun never setting. As we have seen in the earlier lesson, the sun does not rise overhead but is just above the horizon. As a result of this, the summers do not experience very hot temperatures. Cold temperatures prevail in the tundra region even during the summers. The temperatures are comparatively less than the winters. What else happens in the polar regions once the summer sets? Yes, the ice begins to melt with the warm weather. The rivers begin to flow and the lakes get filled up while large blocks of ice start to break and float into the oceans as icebergs. Can you recollect and tell me what kind of vegetation is seen in the tundra region during the summers. The deserted lands spring back to life in the summers in the tundra region. Many plants, lichens, grass, shrubs and berries start to grow with the change in the temperatures. Birds and animals also come back during the summers. Here's an exercise for you. 
find out what are the various plants, animals and birds that are found in the Tundra region. Now let us see in detail about the vegetation in this region. The low temperatures result in soil surface that is frozen like a rock all around the year. The permafrost or the frozen rock-like surface of the upper soil surface is sown all throughout the year in the tundra region. The presence of very little soil facilitates for very little vegetation. As we have seen in the earlier lesson, the surface is so hard that it gets difficult for the plants to penetrate the soils. As a result, it is very difficult for the plants to grow. In case the plants grow, they get uprooted and damaged by the strong winds and the storms in the tundra region. As a result, the tundra region is treeless.